Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo. And today I'm gonna to share with you how you're able to master your Samsung phone like a pro using a bunch of different shortcuts that either you knew or you didn't know on your Samsung phone. Now let me know in the comment section below which one of these is your favorite. And if there's any that I missed, write those in the comment section as well. So this first one that we'll cover today is a widget that allows you to do a direct call or a direct message to somebody with just one tap. So rather than going inside of messages and then finding the conversation, you're able to basically put any of your VIP people, any of your favorite people on the very top, and that little blue dot, that's basically a little text icon that just means that you're going to open this up to do a direct text. And then if I want to do a direct call, I basically tap on any of these, and then it's going to directly call them just again with one button press it makes it very simple so how you're able to add this in is you just want to press and hold on the screen you want to go down inside of widgets and as you scroll down you're going to look for contacts now with this one there's a couple different options so first off contact that just means that you're going to open up that one person's contact that could be the first name the last name the phone number the email the address whatever you may put in as their contact it'll show on the screen here's the direct call and then here's the direct message all you have to do is tap on any of these and then you select the contact that you would like to add in. Now there's another cool thing you can do as well and this is this one up here, this widget with four of them and I'll show you what this looks like when you get it set up. Now once you have it all set up and I just didn't want to show it just because of their phone numbers would be highly visible, it just shows it just like this. It's going to be one little widget box. You can tap on any of those four people and it's going to directly call them. Shortcut number two is a way that you're able to access all of your recent applications with a simple swipe and that is going from the left to the right. Now, as you go through this, this is gonna show all of the recent applications in order of their use. In order for you to activate this, you just wanna make sure you swipe from the left to the right. It's not gonna work if you go from the right to the left. This is just gonna swipe your home screens. Uh, and also too, you can notice I'm not using the navigation buttons. I've never used navigation buttons for several years, so I don't have the home, back, or recents. This just makes it way easier to go to all of those applications, again, with a simple swipe. Now, speaking of swiping, number three is a way that you're able to use two fingers to fully expand your quick settings. Now this one will come in handy if you're trying to open up every single thing, maybe turn off your phone, get into the settings, or look at these quick settings right here. So originally how this would always work is you would swipe down with one finger, you swipe down again, that's how you fully get it expanded. Now one thing that could be nice is that right here, you know, you don't have to do it at the very top of the screen. I usually, just, you know, flip it right here, which is kind of in the middle of the screen. You know, it would be kind of nice if you're able to do two fingers to do that. But if you pull down quick with two fingers in the middle, that's just going to open up your all of your home pages. Or sometimes you have to go a little bit slower and go from the very top to the bottom. It's a little wonky with that one, but this is where you're able to go through. You can add in more home screens or you can also delete some home screens. Now this next shortcut is one that's found inside of your phone. And let's say you take a look at your favorites. And yes, you can favorite a bunch of people, whoever you want. And if you swipe from the left-hand side, you'll be able to call that person. And if you swipe the other way, you're able to send them a message. So if you wanted to get a hold of somebody really quick and maybe you don't have these ones set up or maybe up here, this is not your jam, you go inside of your phone and then you'd be able to go right up over here and you can go inside of message. Um, or what you could do is the call and then it will actually just send them a quick call. Now, shortcut number five is one that is probably my favorite, and it's one that some people forget they're able to do. And what you're able to do here is any of these applications, you're able to press and hold and do an action. So if you wanted to take a selfie immediately, you can do that. So rather than you going inside of the camera and trying to flip it, change the cameras, or maybe you're trying to shoot a video, all you have to do is press and hold, record video, boom, you're right there, it's in video, you're ready to go and you're getting it done. Now, a lot of these applications show a bunch of different things that you're able to do. So you can go inside of a message right there really quick. Also, let's say we go inside of maybe Instagram. Instagram has, uh, you know, if you wanna open up the camera of Instagram, you can view activity, do a new post, do chats. So it's pretty nice that you can just go through, press and hold, and then you can share, do something, you know, inside of that application that you would normally have to just fully open and go through the full entire thing to figure out what you're about to do. But you have your shortcut just sitting right here, giving you all of these options that you would probably, you know, maybe use. This next one is one that's not fully a shortcut, uh, but it is a way that you're able to manage some of these quick settings just from the screen right here. So some people believe that they would have to press and hold to fully expand 
all the options inside of these little quick settings. But one of the things that you're able to do is let's say that you swipe down and you tap on just the word flashlight. It still expands it and then now you can turn it on and then you can even change the intensities. Some may not even know that you can just change the intensities. Uh, maybe out of the box it's like this and what happens is most people they just go in and then they tap on their flashlight and they're like okay cool it works I'm done. But if you tap on the word you can change the intensity. So this way, if you want it to be a little bit, you know, not as bright, maybe it's midnight, you're trying to walk through your room, not wake up the spouse or whatever, or it's somewhere you're outside, you got to look underneath a boat and find a very small screw or something, put it on that full level five. So, you know, just to kind of be careful, I'm going to bring it down here because you never know when you're going to accidentally turn the thing on. But yes, you're able to tap on any of these in here uh, with the little words rather than fully expanding by doing a press and hold. So you can get into some of these quick settings. This is one that I do find to be very, very helpful if you're sharing a video and you want somebody to watch something at a particular time. So let's say that in this video of Philip DeFranco, he says something at two minutes and 15 seconds. And rather than me just sharing the video and then telling them to watch it, or maybe say it's somewhere around two minutes, you just basically share the video and I just copied the link. So I copied the link and I placed it here. And so because you want to share something at a particular time, this is how I remember it. I put a question mark and then I put T because that is standing for time and it's going to be at this time. So I put in a little uh, uh, equal sign and then we're just going to go in. We're going to say two minute and then 15 seconds and then you hit on send. And that is all you have to do. You just copy the link and you add in question mark. T equals, and now anytime someone taps on it, it's going to put them right at two minute and 15 second and start playing. So it's, it's very nice. You know, again, let's say that I move this one all the way up forward. You know, it's, it's, you know, four minutes into the video already. Let's say that I move right on back into this text message. Again, I tap right there. It's going to take me right at two minute, 15 seconds because it started playing immediately. So again, if you want to share something at a particular time, maybe it's 30 minutes into a video, you're able to put that in there with simply the question mark T equal sign. Shortcut number eight is one that's inside of the keyboard. Now you can do this inside of the Samsung keyboard or you can do it inside of Gboard and I'll show you how you're able to do this. And that is by putting in a keyboard shortcut. So for me, a lot of times, you know, if I'm trying to uh, send my address to somebody because maybe I need to review something, I literally just made a shortcut that I said Addy because I wanted to make it a word that kind of isn't a word. So this way, you know, uh, it's not going to be misused or misplaced in regular sentences. So I put an Addy and then I tap right there. Boom. There is my PO box for any company to send me something if they want me to review it. Now, another shortcut that I have is because I type a lot on, on Twitter and I sometimes use sometimes the exact same hashtags. I made one for hashtags. I can just simply tap in the word hashtags and then there's all the hashtags. It makes it very simple. So how you're able to do that is you just go inside of the settings. And then you want to go inside of the text shortcuts. It's right there. Very simple. All you do is you type in this little plus word. Uh, so here's the expanded phrase and here's the shortcut. So put in whatever word you want as the shortcut and then you put in your expanded phrase and then everything is going to come off, you know, whenever you type in that word. Now, let's say that you use Gboard. So Gboard, it's going to be in a different location. What you want to do is you want to go inside of your dictionary. And then you go to personal dictionary, English. And then this is where you go to plus, And then you want to type in whatever you want it to be. This is basically your word or the expanded phrase and then the shortcut. And you can see that I made one here randomly. So if I type in the word Addy on this one, it'll pull up one, two, three, four, five, North Ave KC. That was just a random address came out of nowhere. So basically let's say that we go right on back and I show you what it looks like here. Again, I just type in Addy, tap there, boom, it's there. Uh, so again, you know, text shortcuts is something that helps a ton. Uh, some people maybe know or don't know how they can use it or where to find it. Uh, but I find it helpful literally every single day. I am using a text shortcut somewhere. Shortcut number nine is a way that you're able to save a website to your home screen to make it very simple to find later. So rather than having it inside of all of your tabs on the very top, uh, all you'd have to do is just save it over into your home screen. So let's say that we're taking a look at this little website right here. Uh, maybe this is exactly the monitor that I want. This is the exact same setup. This is all the options. And if you want to save this over into your home screen so you can find it for later, because sometimes you, I mean, you look at your home screen every single day, every minute of your phone. So basically, if you would like to see it later on, all you have to do is go right here, add 
to home screen. And you can change the title if you want. You just say add to home screen and now it's going to add it. So the next time that you head over to your home screen, you know, it might be over here on the very last portion of your page. And then all you got to do is just kind of move it wherever you will make sure that you see it. So this way, anytime that you want to open it right back up, it's going to sit right there. So it makes things very easy for you to find. Uh, that's sometimes how I save things so I can create videos in the future. But yeah, so saving a website to your home screen is very, very simple. Now, shortcut number 10, I'm going to show you two little shortcuts you can do in the dialing pad to get into a couple different screens that are helpful. The first one is going to be the Samsung test diagnostic screen. Screen. You can test your speakers, the the vibration, your cameras, the touch, the the colors, the you know the the reds, greens, blues, all that good stuff. It's going to be star pound zero star pound. Now I know that if you have Verizon, they probably blocked it because Verizon has their own tools, but you can test it on your phone to see if it does work. So star pound zero star pound. And then here you go. You got the reds, the greens, the blues. You can make sure that it works. You can tap on the screen to get out of it. You can test your vibration, tap the screen to get out of it. You can uh, test the touch. And with this one, you do want to go through and highlight all of these little squares that's on here. So once you get all of the squares basically filled in, then you'll be able to get out of this little test. Now, you don't have to follow only the rectangles. If you feel like there's a spot that doesn't work, you know, kind of touch on the top. This is going to be very similar to the S Pen, except for it's just going to ask you to do it with the S Pen. So you test the receiver, all the sensors and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's a pretty fun screen that you can play with. Swipe back twice to get out of that little test. Uh, now this next one is one that I'm not really going to be able to show much of the screen just because it's going to show some of my, my personal information of the phone. But this is where it comes in handy for you if you needed to give it to Samsung directly or to someone in the store. Uh, and it's a way to show your IMEI and all of your information. So it's going to be star pound zero six pound. So in the screen here, it shows the IMEI or the MEID, the serial number and everything else, the EID. And this is if you needed to get your phone looked at or serviced or activated, whatever the case, or if you need to get, you know, tell Samsung some of this information and you can't really figure out where it is on the phone itself, or uh, you don't have your box with you that you can easily readily read it. So that is a way that you're able to get all the details of the phone. Uh, two little quick shortcuts inside the dialing pad. So let me know which of these were your favorite, maybe which ones you have learned today or ones that you use all the time. And let me know of any of your little shortcuts that I didn't put in, in today's video because I do know that there is a ton of them out there and I only wanted to have room for 10 of them that I like to use. So hopefully you guys appreciated the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,